is a hidden danger that you may not be aware of. While many have opted into social networking sites that allow people to share their current locations, like the Facebook feature known as Places, it's likely that many more don't know that the smartphone they're carrying has its own capability of sharing that information. Tonight, 10 On Your Side's Angela Hatcher uncovers how it works and how you can keep the wrong person from seeing it. If you've ever sent a cell phone picture with the caption, wish you were here, you might want to be very careful what you wish for. So a child takes a picture of themselves in their bedroom and sends it out to a friend uh, or something, someone could conceivably take that photo, get the GPS information and find out where that child lives. It's just that easy with geotagging. The exact latitude and longitude of the place where a smartphone photo is snapped automatically and instantly embedded and sent with that picture. To show you how it works and how to stop it, we teamed up with the Southern Virginia Internet Crimes Against Children Task Force. I hop in the car with Lieutenant Mike Harmony. He's the only one who knows where we're going. My photographer stays behind with investigator Steve Anders. And we're going to take a ride and see if we can find him. Our destination, in the middle of nowhere, where Lieutenant Harmony takes this picture with a smartphone and emails it to Investigator Anders with this challenge, find me if you can. Back at the office, Investigator Anders sees it all. The make and model of the device that took the picture, the date and time that it was taken, uh, information about file size, colors, uh, if a flash was used or not, and then uh, it also is going to oftentimes include the latitude and longitude, it was taken at sea level. Uh, I know where they're at. According to the uh, GPS coordinates, they're, I'd say, probably about four, four and a half miles away from here. A quick call. I will be there on our way in a few minutes. Then the investigator hits the paved road, then the off road, and easy as ABC or GPS. So you found me? We found you. How easy was it to find me? It's extremely easy. Uh, once we got the photo, pulled out the GPS information that was in there, put it on Google Earth, found out exactly where you were at, drove straight here. We know what you're thinking. Investigator Anders is a computer whiz and not everyone can figure this out. Wrong. There are dozens of free sites online that can pull the location information, plug it into Google Earth, and there you are. Fortunately, turning off your phone's locator is just as easy. Just look for the instructions in that booklet that came with your phone or go online. I was able to Google the instructions for my phone and with just one touch, my phone can no longer be located. My pictures can no longer be traced. Your phone can still be located when you call 911. That can't be turned off, and you can turn it back on if you want to use the GPS navigation feature on your phone. Social networking sites, including Facebook and Twitter, scrub location information from uploaded photos so it can't be read by people looking at your page. All ways to keep a predator's wish from coming true. Somewhere in Bedford County, Angela Hatcher, WSLS 10 on your side. You rely on Storm Team 10 for the best, most accurate forecast around using live Viper radar. Now, WSLS 10 introduces Precision 10 radar. This is the future. Precision 10 radar, a radar that can track four separate signals at one time so you can see more of the storm from further away with 3D to see inside the storm. Plus, Precision 10 advanced storm searching gives you the clearest view of approaching trouble. Storm Team 10 and the new Precision 10 radar on your side, even when the weather isn't.